everybody hello hello right let's uh oh wow good morning hi Teresa that was quick um good morning everybody how are we all doing today um right I'll just give you all a moment to uh jump on and say hi um and see what's going on I am just going to get the Facebook page up as well because it's always handy to see what everyone else is seeing uh how are we all on this lovely morning I do have my slightly cold cup of coffee um i'm just seeing what's on um and yeah we've got a really lovely project for them just giving you all a moment just to jump on morning star morning rachel um yeah come and say hi let me know what you're up to morning anna um yeah to come and say hi let's get everybody in together and then we can have a little look at the project for today it's a really really lovely project today uh it's not chain mail it's wire work so we'll do something a little bit different um it's nice and easy good morning juice judith good morning lucy uh camille oh it's still chilly there it's yeah we've had really 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 crazy weather the last couple of days um looking forward to this today oh thank you star uh morning mina morning elaine i'll just put some of these mornings on because it's lovely to see so we'll just put some of these to share good morning everybody from Anne, from Judith, Hannah, good morning, Hannah, good morning, Elaine, oh, it's lovely to see everybody, um, hang on, I just remember how to uh, hide this, um, yeah, so, it, yeah, it, the weather's been really crazy here, um, I, I'm in Bristol, and um, we had torrential rain yesterday, and I actually had to put the heating on, only just like just to nudge it up, just to take the chill off. I live in a corner house, and it really feels the chill when it's when it's cold and rainy. Like, it was cold. Um, windows were actually shut for the first time, and um, yeah, <laughs> not the funnest of times. Um, but it's brighter today, and I think we're probably going to start getting that sun back. So, you know, it's crazy, crazy weather at the moment, right? I think I'd rather have it a little bit chilly though than boiling hot. I can't, I can't cope when it's really, really warm. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a sun person. It is cold, star. It is right. It's not just me. My husband came home and he was like, "Why is the heating on?" I was like, "It's been on for ten minutes, honey. Ten minutes." <laughs> um, super warm here today, but windy across our hill. Yeah, it's just, it's just very weird weather, isn't it, at the moment? um <laughs> okay what i'll do is i'll pop the other camera on so you can see exactly what we're up to i've got a few people coming in now so it's lovely to see you all um morning angela morning debbie yeah it's lovely to see you all here uh let's go ahead and share the um project that i am doing with you today it's a really lovely simple easy one um and this can kind of be used in a couple of different ways we're not far from Bristol. We go there for our Chinese dim sum and stock up on our Chinese bits and pieces. Is that in um, Victoria Street, Camille? Is that there's, there's like a wholesaler, isn't there? There used to be. Um, I haven't been there for a while. Hi, Carol. Um, OK, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you what we're making today. Got a couple of different. Um, styles for you but basically we've got two different kits available we've got this lovely sort of gold oval morning joan cloudy and breezy this morning yeah it is it's like what do you kind of wear in this weather you know i've had a cardigan on yesterday so i justified the heating going on for five minutes near the ikea oh i have to check that out camille um i don't venture i don't love the ikea side of town very much it, it gets a little bit crazy over there <laughs> um I do venture over there when i'm leaving uh bristol there when i'm sort of going down towards birmingham and stuff so let's have a little look at what we're doing today um keep on saying hi though it's lovely to hear from you all um so there are two different kits that we've got today we've got the gold version which are these lovely sort of pre-wrapped frame ovals and then we've got this lovely heart here um and there's kind of like a couple of different ways you can embellish these and we're going to go over that today the kits that we've got are so cool so i'm going to go ahead and show you these kits so that you can see 
exactly what we have. Now, if I disappear, if my voice disappears, shout. I think I've got it sus this time. Okie dokie. So you can see here that we have got, um, you go into the tatedbeads.co.uk Facebook tutorials, and it will take you to the video tutorials. And then when you have a little look here, you can see past and present projects, which is fabulous. And you can see here, this is the one that we're doing today, which is this decorating wire frames. So if I click onto that, you can see the kit. So you'll have you'll be able to reference back to this video, which will be on YouTube. It's streaming on YouTube now. It'll be on YouTube for you to go back and re-watch the tutorial. Uh, it also comes with a PDF. Um, and in the PDF, I've kind of shown you, like I said, I'll, I'll talk it through in a moment, but like three different ways of how you can wrap these. Um, and then the kits that you actually have, um, is it an actual kit? Where's the actual kit? Uh, right, I'll have a look at that in a moment. But um, yeah, so that's where you want to go. Um, so this is the kits that we've got here. Just having a quick look to check I've got that right. The kits are actually in there, decorating the wireframe. Okay. Right, so I think that instead of an actual kit, you can kind of collect, you can kind of make your own up. I think that's right. Um, so I'll double check that. Don't think they bundled them into kits today. Thank you, Lucy. Yeah, okay, that's cool. It just threw me a moment because I was kind of seeing it as a kit. So um, let me go back to that and I'll just show you. So you can basically um, create your own, which is great because you can mix it up and everything else. So I'll just come back into this for you. So these premium crystal bead mixes, absolutely love these. So happy to work with these. Uh, you got the option of your gold 0.4 wire, your um, silver coloured uh, 0.4 wire copper base. Um, and then you have the wire pendant hearts and the wire pendant ovals. So, you know, you can kind of mix and match and make your own bundle up. The one bag of these crystals are going to just keep going and going and going. Um, so, yeah, great opportunity. So have a little look over there for that yeah okay cool thanks sorry um okay so i'll just put this one back over here and switch me around for you there you go so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you i mean these beads have done all of this and you wouldn't even know this bag is, is like untouched you know and it's done all, all of these pieces um so they're really really great and what you get in these mixes if i can open them you can get anything obviously you're not going to necessarily get exactly what i've got but you can get some of these lovely focal beads. You've got sort of like chunky beads, little beads, um, so much. So what I'm going to do in this one, I keep seeing this one and thinking oh, I need to do something with that. So cool. I think because it's a nice size bag of beads, they did it all separate. So you can multi buy. Absolutely, Lucy. Thank you for that. I'll just share again. If you see Lucy's actually shared the link for us directly to the um sort of bundle as well if you want to sort of make your own so that's great um so yeah these i'm just going to pop these into this little pot because uh, they all go everywhere i could have done with a slightly bigger pot laura um well that's okay oh i haven't got that one. Oh, i'll use that one instead let me just switch this pot over so i can put more beads into it um and what i would say what i was doing with these was kind of taking the smaller smaller ones to do the wrapping with but you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, it's really, really great if you're having a little bit. I always kind of think of sometimes you have a little bit of a mojo block and you think, oh, what can I do today? So doing a really simple easy project like this can really help you sort of um, sort of spark your imagination again. So I'm going to just explain. So you can see here now these can be used for a number of things. They can be used for bag charms. They could be used for a key ring charm. Uh, they're also great as like a window decoration. So if you were making a window charm, um, they'd be great as that. And also even just like a mobile um, if you were doing something um, like that. Also great for, and I'm going to say the C word, Christmas. 
imagine this hanging from your Christmas tree. How cool would that look? And it's something, again, I think, you know, the summer holidays are coming up soon, which is terrifying for me. Uh, but the school holidays are coming up literally in like two weeks. Um, and so the kids are going to be home. But this is a great project to sit down with the kids and do because it's nice and easy. So you can see here, I've got two empty frames. Morning, Jan. That's no worries. Don't worry. We haven't started yet. We've just had a little look at the bundles. Um, so you can see here you've got two different shapes, OK, um, of which you can choose. And again, it's just whether you want your sort of silver colour or your gold colour. Uh, Lucy, I think I have a few of these wire pendants, so I have to give it a go. Oh, 100 percent. It's so much fun. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of show you uh, how to simply wrap the gold. And then we're going to show you how I can kind of fill up the actual um, silver. So with this one, can you see here? Makes a really you probably can't hear it. But it makes a really lovely um, sound because all of those crystals are inside that heart. <coughs> excuse me so you can there's kind of a couple of um options you can do with this you can keep the the gold ones and just have it as a wrapped kind of piece you you can fill them with crystals and keep it simple like that or you can go to town fill it with crystals and still wrap some beads around the outside so you know you can do whatever you want with these so i'm going to go ahead and start off with the simple uh, with the gold first of all just because it's um just because really <laughs> no reason um so what i want to do is take a length of my 0.4 wire and i'm probably going to take about a meter i'm just gonna cut that wire okay oh thank you mina yeah they're lovely aren't they and again i'm thinking great as a long star necklace as well you know like a long one long chain be absolutely great and again you could have a bit of fun with the beads and do a real fun random rosary linked necklace to go with it um you know you've got this lovely i could definitely see my daughter rocking a necklace like this sort of like a long style you know um it's just it's just great fun so let's go ahead and have a little look so i'm going to just explain why i kind of chose the designs i did with each one so if you look at the heart one, it's really, really wrapped and it's got that really lovely sort of 3D effect. Morning, Linda. How are you? All good? So you can see how this one's really, really got that 3D effect. Now, this one has got that 3D effect and it is wrapped, but it's not quite as heavily wrapped as this one. Now, you could 100% fill this with gemstones or beads if you wanted to. Crystals, sorry. Um, but you'll see here it's a little bit more open. So this is one that you would definitely probably have to add a bit more wire to or you'd have to tweak it probably a little bit more than you maybe would say the heart. So I chose this as um, a really pretty to actually wrap the outsides of it. And then that's why I chose this one to kind of take uh, to fill the crystals inside. And again, as I said, this one's a little bit more 3D than this one. I think they're both great for their own reasons. And again, colorways as well. Not a problem, Linda, not a problem. So I've cut a sort of about a meter of wire. And what I'm going to do is just come towards the top of the frame and just feed that through. And then wrap the shorter edge a couple of times. And I'm probably, I'm going to leave. So just wrapped it a couple of times sorry i've got paint on my nails i like the idea of filling silver heart with crystal i love my crystal beads oh, i mean absolutely um and i'm going to show you how we do that in a moment so i'm going to show you all of the options that we have for this because they're really really versatile and what's really great is that a lot of the work's been done for you you've got this solid frame here it's already wrapped and secured with wire and it's i mean i'm putting a lot of pressure on that and that is not is not buckling which is absolutely great so it just means that we can do the add-ons um and just embellish it so it just takes away that work for you so i've just attached it to the top here now i want to keep that tail there just because i am an options girl okay and i always like to have just that option so that you know if um 
I find I just want to add a couple more beads here, but I've run out of wire or I've cut my wire. I've got my wire there. That's simply the only reason. And what I'm going to do is, can you see, I'm just turning the, the, the actual frame so that my long wire is kind of coming over the outside. So if you see here, when it focuses, come on camera, be my friend today, please. See here how it's kind of in the middle. So I want it to go around the outside. So it's going to come across the front. And then all you're going to do, and this is probably what a lot of people will find the trickiest part of, I think, maybe, is um, <laughs> being random. Now, I personally am a very random person. It sounds very dodgy. But I have no problem with just picking up beads and putting them on without thinking. But I appreciate that some people like to have uniformity and that's absolutely fine. You can do that as well. But this is really great for just I kind of feel like I said for just unleashing that creativity, should we say. So just try and go against that. Just grab a couple. Now, what I would say is that out of this bead mix, I really I try to stick to the slightly smaller ones because you're going to put quite a lot on. So I don't really want to go for like these really big chunky beads just here, but they will be great for like doing the hanging section, this part here. So I don't really want those in my frame itself, but I will always say uh, each to their own and you it's your design and you do what you want to do. So if you want to put big chunky beads on there, put big chunky beads on there. So I'm going to drop three random beads and it could be three to four, it doesn't really matter it's just again you have to remember um initially because this is like a tapered frame i don't want to put loads across here i might add a few more when i come down to the wider part but at the moment i'm at top so i only want three and then i'm just going to let them so i'm kind of just placing it across and letting them sit now because you've got all these wires going across already there are sections that will kind of catch. Can you see, like I'm moving that bead, but it's not going anywhere because it's nestled, whoopsie, it had nestled itself into that little bit of wire just there. So it's locked itself in place. So holding that where it is, I'm going to take the end of my wire and come through the back of the frame and back in the front. So hopefully you can see. And when I pull this together, that's going to lock those crystals in place. OK, then. <laughs> Hi, Sheila, don't worry, I've only just started. You're all right. Um, so now my wire is coming across. So this is what I was talking about, the sort of across the back of the piece. So now I can, if you want this to be both um, sort of two-sided, I think it's great for that. I mean, you could just do this all on one side if you want to, but I think, you know, it's a shame not to decorate both sides. Another three. Now I'm looking at that and it's a wider part. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pop on a fourth bead all the way across. And just kind of space them out as you place them. Let them find a little home. It doesn't matter if they move a bit. They're not all going to be set in that position. Okay. Morning, Anna. And then the same again. So holding it steady. And again, bring that wire through. So you're going around that frame. So it's coming through the back and then back towards the front. You don't have to be too precise with this. And before you lock it, just be sort of move the beads about a little bit be happy with their placement and then lock that and you'll see they almost go into the frame as well a little bit if you push that and that's absolutely fine and then turn the piece over and we do oopsie went sorry about that um and then we're just going to continue doing this same thing and again try not to overthink it the only thing I do try to consciously do is not put two of the same colours next to each other. That's the only thing I try to do, not to do. Oh, well, I just try and find, there we go, I couldn't find a drill hole then. 
that was a me error, not a, a bead error. Is very small beads. Okay, so again, I'm just going to kind of put three to four beads onto this wire here. And then let's see where we are. That's it. <clears throat> so again, four beads. And I mean, you could be quite um, tonal with this. You could just keep them sort of like your smoky tones, your sort of can see here this isn't intentional but that side's quite kind of smoky you could almost make this reversible and have a kind of a fun bright side and then that kind of more sophisticated grown-up side depending on what day you're having you know um and then again i'm just going to hold them steady go from the other side so i'm going around that frame and just bring it up and again the beauty of the pre-wrapped frames is that they blend in all of these movements are blending in okay so again and you don't have to be like oh going up and down you can whatever direction you want wherever these wires find themselves is where you place it that's you know it's a real great do not overthink it project just adding on your white on adding on your beads i'm gonna throw a curveball put some blues in and then again, I mean, you can put three to four in. It's up to you. You don't have to. You can shake it up, whatever you want. And then I'm doing this. Okay, so we can see it's kind of building up. You can move them a bit, and you can bring the wire up in a different direction. You know, go in the direction of the frame, whatever you fancy. So a couple more on and again get you know top up your if, you, if you're using little pots top them up really find that mixture of beads because in the bag you see here the smaller ones will kind of settle towards the bottom so what i can do is let's get a little pot and pour these out into a little pot so when i do that you see how a lot of the larger pots of uh, beads are sort of poured out there and then that's left me in the bottom of the bag a lot of the more smaller beads which is what i want for this just for this part of the project again it really is completely up to you what you do with this but i want to get like these little tiny sparkly crystals and then so they're all sort of appearing now have i made the frames no um anna they are pre-made um just for those of you who have just joined us, I'll go back to the sharing my screen for you to show you what it is. It's um, on the Totally Beads website, and you can see here, this is the video that will be recorded now, that's streaming now, so you can go back and watch it at a later date. Um, and you can see here we've got, basically there isn't an actual kit for it this time, but there's um, a bead mix, which is what I'm using. And then you've got the pre-made frame. So you've got the silver heart, which is down here. And then you've got the wire pendant oval. Um, you do get two pieces, by the way, of the ovals. But the heart is just a single piece. So the 50 mil heart is just for one. Uh, but for the wire ovals, which is what I'm using right now, it's 60p for two. So they're in the cell. There's a few cell pieces here, which are great. Um, one bag's going to see you for loads. And then obviously you've got your wire just there. Um, and just to say as well, with regards to the wire, I've done three. I'm on my fourth piece now. Sorry, I'm on my third piece now. And I still have this much wire left from that one reel. So it's going to be more than enough. Uh, thank you, Lucy, for sharing that for me. Um, so I'm going to show you now just quickly how if you didn't want to do them on both sides, you can kind of bring the wire back on. So what we're doing at the moment is going over and then back in because that brings the wire across. It takes a lot of work out of it. Anna, absolutely. And I was saying we've got school holidays coming up soon. So this is a great project to work with younger people because all you're doing is decorating and adding that wire around. And then if you see in this one in a moment, I'm going to also show you how we can fill the hearts with uh, with the crystals and how we can 
decorate that as well so yeah this is a really really great project so i just want to show you so that's how you can kind of get it to go across to the other side now what i'm going to do is show you if you've got a side that's looking a little bit sort of bare or you want to add more crystals just onto one side as opposed to the other let me show you what we're going to do i'm going to just bring this across so bring this across as i've already done i've added four beads onto this one so if i wanted to add more beads onto this side and not go around the other side what i could do instead of going with my wire around and back towards the front what you can do is actually go through the frame on the same side can you see i'm on the same side i'm adding my crystals so what i'm doing instead of going over and back i'm going through this way and what this will do is bring you your wire back onto that same so you see it comes out the other side bring it across onto that side hi kim now what this can also do is push some of your beads more in towards the middle as well so if you want them to look a little bit more embedded that will work for that as well and then i'm going to just add a few more yeah this is absolutely great if you know you if you're new to wire work or you're not very confident with wire work um it's a really great starter point and you know what i'm a i, I do a lot of wire work I'm, i i would say i'm an experienced wire worker um and sometimes it's just nice to have an easy make you know i can sit and make a really lovely complicated piece but i it's really nice as well to sit and do a really easy piece so this is something that i think is great um you know my son has got um a girlfriend now he's 13 um and this is something that he could make and give her as a gift for christmas or do you know what i mean it's got a lot of potential Good way of using up all your leftover odd beads. Absolutely, Carol. Absolutely. I do love some bead scoops personally. And I love these crystal bead scoops because they're so sparkly. I am that person. I am a sucker for sparkle. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Love a bit of sparkle. Um, so you can see there. Oh, that coffee is well and truly cold. You know, when you're like, it's a good coffee, but it's well and truly stone cold so let's say again i want to bring it back onto the same side i would bring it through on that same side that i've got the beads and then that brings my wire down to here and then they comes back across the front so as i said with this this is these ones have got quite an open space towards the top and the bottom which is why i tend not to fill them with gemstones sorry i keep saying gemstones i mean beads crystal beads um but i could put them in there and add extra layers here with this wire to sort of stop them so i'm actually going to go ahead and do that um i haven't on these two uh because i haven't really felt it's needed it and i don't really feel it needs it you can see here um a really lovely i really love how that one's come out it's really sort of like even on both sides um sorry my uh my french is having a little waft um so i'm just what you would do if you wanted to fill some uh crystals inside this is where i would choose the slightly bigger ones as well because you don't want them to run out but you just literally take that open section there pop them in and like i said this is an opportunity to use the slightly larger ones so this is where the the mixture of different sizes in these mixes are absolutely great because they are going to they are less likely to escape because that's what it's all about with that one maybe a bit too large oh no she's in um you know and so this is where it's great to have that mixture of sizes and shapes um let's do a few more so I, this is the first one i've actually sort of with the gold put the, the crystals inside but if you were to do that, you might not want to do so many on the outside. You know, it's completely up to you. I think there's just so much um, room for creativity with these. So let's just put a few more in and then I'll leave it like that. It's easy to get carried away and over fill them. So we don't necessarily want to do that. So what I'm going to do is add some more crystals onto this side. <laughs> Can you hear her? 
She's I don't even know who she's barking at. Savannah, who are you whacking at? Nobody knows with that dog. Well, she's not snoring today. She's actually uh running away. Hello, baby girl. She's just coming to cause trouble now. She's gonna be in a strop because Benny is in her bed. So I'm gonna have to move some dogs about a moment. Benny move. Benny. Benny move. So she has her little place behind me. And um she wants to join in. She does. Um she has this little place, her little seat behind me. Um, and then obviously if Benny is in her, her bed, she's she'll just come and sort of pour at me like, Mum, move him. Hello, baby girl. She has now settled. I will <laughs> she is Hello baby. Yeah. She's uh, in the bed now. So that you can see there, that has come across and filled that gap in perfectly for me. And then I've got obviously to do the other side as well. One thing I'd say about this is, you know, when you've got it, give it a shake. Because if there are any that have got gaps, then let them fall out now. <laughs> you know, it's easier to do that. So, oh, excuse me, got your nose. I'm going to now, I've got quite an open gap there. And another little tip is to put some larger ones in last because then they're less likely to fall out. And then just fill that gap. Pretty gold. It's a very pretty gold. Um, and what I love about the gold is that it really stands up with all the colours, like really contrast against it. So it's really, you know, it's a great, um, great for the designs. So just put a couple more across there. So I can now fill that gap in a little bit with some more beads. So again, less likely to be able to escape. And then I'm just going to bring this back up. And if I want the wire to start coming back up, I'll angle it so it comes up towards the frame. And you don't always have to put beads on if you want to get your wire to a different place. So see here, I've got no beads and I'm just going to bring it up to here. And then I can come back around to get it. Again, if I want it on the same side, remember I go through the same side the wire is on. I come along like so. And then that will allow me to put my wire back on that front. And then I can add some more beads. You see a pattern? Um, okay, so let's bring this across like so. And, you know, have a bit of fun with this. I might pop one more on. I do get crystals everywhere. <laughs> I am that person. This is why I don't do seed beading. Because look at the mess I've got myself into with just crystals. Can you imagine if I was using um, if I was using seed beads? Um, right. So right across the front. And then bring that around and again I can see here that that space there is quite open so again give it a shake nothing's coming out but I can come across now remember I've got my backup wire here so let's give this okay a few more and I just love the randomness of this. You just don't know what you're going to get. I've got a couple of these um, crystal scoops. And everyone is just as good as the other. They're brilliant. Okay. And then across like that. So you can see I had that quite open gap there. One little placement. And that's looking so much better. Now, I may not need this amount of wire. So I've, I've, I've got, obviously, as I said, sort of like... A meter about a meter I started with but it does use up really quickly um, and it's much better to have um, a little bit longer piece of wire um, and cut it than not have enough oh thank you Mina really this really is a nice simple project honestly have a go I think you'll find it so uh, it's just nice and simple this wire is beautiful and soft as you can see it's not sort of um, springing everywhere it's working beautifully with me which is really great when you're working with something like this you need all your 
all your products and your materials to be um to work with you so the fact that these all work so lovely really helps right i'm just adding a few more there we go and you can see and also these are relatively quick projects really if you think now i've got quite a lot on this side but not so much on this side so this is where i might go okay i'm gonna bring that wire back onto my side so to do that again if you remember i go through the same side my beads are on and then it comes back over to that same side then and i can add a few more i'm going to start because it's just again take your time don't rush this you can see i've got quite a lot on this side and this side sort of found itself looking a little bit empty so i'm going to just sort of try and fill that up a little bit as well so although it's nice and easy in its approach you still do have to kind of look at the um way the beads are sitting and try to get it nice and balanced as i said i'm using the slightly smaller ones just to um oh come on there we go using the smaller ones just to kind of i feel like they just suit a little bit better so there you go look brought those across and instantly it's looking so much better and more balanced and you can move some about as well so again i'm going to just kind of i think i want to bring it back through the same side so i'm going through that same side and i'm just checking when you're doing this section here in the wire loops just make sure it stays nice and straight otherwise it's when it buckles if it can sometimes kink um and that's when it gets little sort of like knots in the wire that's just through not keeping it straight when you're doing a move like that um and obviously these beads have got lovely drill size uh drill holes on them so they are pretty good with the wires but sometimes they can get stuck if there's a little kink or kick in the wire so again i'm going to come over here i've got a little gap just there so i can fill that little gap up now and you'll see there we go and so i mean i'm looking at this and don't remember not to overdo it as well you don't want to overdo it so when you're happy with that finished look turn it over is there anything else i want to do might add a couple more just onto here remember we don't always have to add beads so you can go through and so this is what i'm talking about here when the wire is here it can twist and then if you pull it that's when it's likely to sort of create like a tiny loop that when you pull it tight gets a little kink in the wire and being a finer um wire so a 0.4 or for anyone who's in the us i believe it's 20 20 ooh, 26 um then it just makes it you know you want to just make sure it stays nice and straight and it really does it's, it's just that simple um right i add a couple more and okay so just we'll fill that gap in okay so you can see that's gone and i think i'll bring that across to there and i think i'm happy so when you're happy what i'm going to do is just bring that wire around the frame hold this up nice and close for you to see so again give it a shake make sure nothing can escape because they might you know you, you're going to have gaps um it's really great sort of as a um tactile piece as well i think was it somebody last week was saying that they were looking for like pride inspired jewelry this is i think would be something great if you chose all the colors of rainbows and maybe did it in rainbow stripes going down hi joanne ah oh. oh thank you joanne that's lovely well i i want to see what you come up with so you know let me know um what you come up with as well because i'd love to see everybody's makes i just think they're lovely honestly the moment i saw them i was like yes i want to do something with these um okay so just placing this wrapping it a couple of times around that frame so one two and three times i want to wrap it just around that frame and i'm going to take my cutters and then cut that nice and close 
to the edge of the frame okay so it's nice and close when it focuses okay now what i want to do now because i can i know there's a little edge is come in with my chain nose pliers and just very gently just kind of make sure there's no sharp edges okay you can see i'm running my finger across there no blood it's always a bonus but you need to just make sure it's nice and attached nice and smoothly to that frame it was you mean i thought it was you um again this i think this would be great like i could 100 percent like the rainbow ones you know or you could make this section here like a rainbow bit you know there's lots it's a lovely bright colorful kit which is just what i think of when you think of something like pride it's that color it's that you know that mix of colors that rainbow so yeah um so i've got my options piece here so this was my, like i said my option piece just in case I felt there was any areas that might need any filling in or I might run out of wire, your wire breaks. You know, these things happen. So I'm going to just bring that down. I could just finish it there, but I just feel like I want to bring it down to here a bit. And I'm just going to hold that steady with my thumb and pull that nice and tight. And then maybe up the other side, just again to fill that little gap there. What you can remember is it's just wire so if you cut it if you try if i place it like that and thought no don't need it i can just take it back so coming across to the top here and then i'm just going to repeat what i did a moment ago just at a place that i feel is suitable so again one maybe two times around that frame there we go and now i've got that here and so again, I'm just going to snip and then I'm going to just take my pliers and just really make sure there's no sharp edges. And I will always, always, always say, handle your pieces when you're working with wire, you know, handle, you know, feel it, sort of make sure because if there's any sharp edges or anything like that, you'll feel it with your hands. Um, and so for me, that's just a, a little safety tip. <laughs> So that one's been filled. So you can see here the different stages. So this is it when it's hollow. You can sort of see through to the other side. And this is it filled with some sparkly um, beads as well. It's got, it makes such a lovely noise. So those are the two kind of simple pieces there. Now what I want to do is show you how I can add on this decorative finish. Now, because we are using a 0.4 wire, I'm actually going to use two pieces to make sure this is nice and strong. Before I do that, I'm going to very quickly show you how I can fill this heart with um, with some beads. So coming away from having pre-wrapped the piece or anything like that, what we're going to do is say like this one here, we wanted to just add the beads to the inside. I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and do that with the heart. And as I said, I chose the heart because it's more... 3d it's got more space in the middle so what you want to do is take your chain nose pliers and you can see that you've got it you'll find areas that are like a little bit more open and we just want to fill this up with some beads now some will fall back through so make sure you put it on a see so make sure you put it on some area you can collect those beads it will fall back through because obviously there are larger gaps that we haven't kind of covered and that's absolutely fine we can fix those I'm going to show you how we can do that in a moment. So, again, your smaller ones are going to come straight back out. Of course they are. So just pop your mix in. Pop some bigger ones in. Give it a little shake so you can see it's filling up here. Try not to overfill it. Oopsie. Right. Now, that's because there's a great big gap there. So, what I'm going to do is fix that gap first. So, to fix the gap, I'm going to come in with my chain nose pliers and I'm just going to kink the wire a little bit now by doing that what i mean is i'm taking the wire in my pliers and i'm just turning can you see and it gives that angle now this is um we do need to kind of do this a little bit on this piece because it just helps the um wires stay and close up a little bit you could have it so you only do it on one side and you have a sort of a more um kinked i wouldn't say kinked but like twisted kind of side and then a straight kind of side or you can just do it on both sides it's up to you but that will stop those beads from escaping because they're escaping from the top and any big gaps here so this has got quite a few gaps here so again just come in grab a few of these 
and just kind of twist those around. So you can see just by doing that. So quite a few open spaces on this one. And as I said, if you were going to do the same as we did with the gold, you can, of course, go straight in and just over wrap, um, wrap around the outside and then fill the inside in like we did on that one. Um, and you would have already blocked a lot of those exits. But if you just wanted a plain filled um, shape, then you are going to have to kind of tweak some of these um, first just to kind of close some of those gaps up. So you can see like and this is why I say keep it on a um, like a beading mat or something like that. So that if any do come out, you can see where they've come from and then you can kind of block that escape route as well. So I'm coming into here. I can see the coming from here. So I'm just going to kind of give that a block. Remember what I said as well, we don't want teeny, teeny tinies because they're going to fall out. We know that. It's quite obvious. So, you know, put some larger ones in. Different shapes. Give it a little bit of a mix up. Let's put some of you in. Some of you. You know, let me just kind of fill that up. See, now that I've done that, it's a lot better. Obviously, I'm holding it upside down because we still have that open in there, but that's holding a lot better. So I'll pop some more in, you know, have it kind of contrasting. A nice bit of red. Um, okay, so I'm going to pop that in. Another great way of applying this is you could kind of almost have it like the chakra colors you know the um i mean obviously you won't be able to put it in the chakra order but you could have the chakra uh colors in there and have it to represent something like that now i'm coming in and i'm going to just do the same as i did up here and close that gap on this side as well so i don't no more add, i'm not going to add any more crystals because again you don't want to overfill it we have an escapee there we go and we'll just kind of fill those gaps in a little bit and just bring them around and just have a bit of fun with this so you can see there you've got that movement you've got those crystals inside there so you've got that there. i think i prefer that side now another thing to be aware of is sometimes when you start to twist your wires you can make them bag a little bit around the frame that's because i've twisted them on this side so just come back in and twist them on this side remember block any escape routes so take your time on this to make sure there's nowhere that that bead can escape and also don't forget you can of course just come in with your silver wire you don't have to let it go come on silver okay oopsie some uh, rogue beads there you can of course just come in with your wire and wrap it if you felt that you didn't want to kick it so say you didn't want to do the um wire bending as such just come around and fill it up with some some extra wire you don't have to add beads you could just you know come around try and stick to the pattern a little bit and bring it around you can bring it around a couple of times you don't have to always wrap around the frame you can kind of go around once so you can kind of come up like this, go all the way around and then come to the side. That's a great way of doing it as well. And then can you so you can see and this is a little bit thinner, but it will also give just that little bit more stability if you felt you wanted it to. Um, I would just say try and stick in with the sort of pattern that has already been set that's a great alternative way as well so if you didn't want to bend the wires at all or kick it you, you want them to stay nice and straight then that is another way that you can fill that up with your 0.4 wire instead it's just the wire not adding anything else so that is an option and of course you're going to come across and if you need to finish it you do it in that same way where you sort of come across like that Snip that wire, make sure there's no sharp edges, give that a shake, nothing's coming out. Also kind of moves things about a little bit if you give it a shake 
and then just the same with that second wire we can come along just wrap that a couple of times okay so that is how you can just fill the crystal fill the, fill the shape with just the crystals and that would apply also to this one as well if you didn't want to add the beads onto the outside just fill it up then just catch any gaps any escapee roots with that plain wire so those are your two pieces now what i want to do now is show you how we can finish these off and add sort of like a decorative chain and this is this is on the sort of premise of it being let's say a um a cheat, uh, like a window charm or something like that or a tree decoration anything like that so what i want to do is cut two lengths of wire still using our point four and i'm going to cut two lengths okay so you could have the beads on the outside yes kim um did you join a little bit late if you watch the replay of this go back to the beginning you know, i actually start off by adding the beads on the outside um and then on this so on this one i've just added the beads on the outside and not added any any at all on the inside and then on this one i wrapped the beads around the outside to a certain point then i filled the inside with some crystals and then i carried on wrapping and again that's going to stop any potential escapes because not only have you got the wire going across but you've also got the um beads uh, that are actually stopping it as well so that's a great way and you can see there i haven't had to sort of bend any of the wires and then on this one obviously you just saw fill it up with the gemstones either kick and bend those wires or just add some wire around the outside as it is or add some beads onto it as well <laughs> you can just have so much um fun with these there's so many options yeah go back and watch the beginning kim um you'll see not right now though because i'm going to show you the next part okay so what i'm going to do now is just show you how i can add they make lovely tree decorations won't they absolutely um and do you know what this would be great outdoor decoration so if you're having a party and you had a tree put some fairy lights in there and then maybe put some of these in there that would look so pretty um so with this what i'm going to do is show you how to make this section here and again this loop can be made to any size i've gone ahead and used my bail making pliers just because they give me a nice size loop but a mandrel or a pen or a round anything that you want will be fine so what i want to do is cut two lengths of my wire in the matching color so i'm going to cut so it's probably about I did measure this i'm not a measurer i'm afraid and obviously it depends how long you want your sort of section here to be how many beads you intend to put on it but i think if i said roughly 10 inches 10 inches or 25 centimeters um and i'm going to cut two lengths so i've got two lengths here oh thanks Joanne. like and love um okay so i've got my two pieces of wire here next to each other and i'm going to bring bring both of them through as one so i'm going to be treating these two wires as if they were one so I bring them equal ends and then just bring them together the reason i'm doing this is because a 0.4 wire on its own could be a bit weak but having two of them effectively is going to give you four wires it's going to give you more strength basically uh it's just going to be a bit more stable so what i'm then going to do is pinch all the ends together and this is where you can go with some of your slightly larger beads and these crystals will go on all four of your wires on all four because there's four wires here because there's two wires here ah thank you jan pop that right down nice and close just like that and i love gold wire going through a clear crystal i think it looks lovely now some of these as you can see i've had these lovely focal beads here um where did that other one go some of them are like for example 
This one is top drilled, so this one wouldn't be any good. Be a nice pretty pendant at the bottom if you were doing a window, um, like a sun catcher kind of design. Uh, this is a really cool one. This is center drilled. I don't know if I would. Let's try it. And that's the best thing to do is try it. If you don't like it, you take it back off, don't you? That's quite cool. Adds a really cool, funky detail, like so. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to own that one and pop that on. I'm doing it and being a rebel. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pop on maybe a bicone. Oh, some of them are side drilled. It's not a problem. It's just not suitable for this. There we go. There we are. Maybe that little. No, I don't like that black one there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's just random. And then I can't just go random. There we go. So you'll see one, two, three, and four wires go so easily on. Yeah, we said, yeah, Christmas tree decorations would be beautiful, wouldn't they? Um, I just kind of feel I need a clear one. I need, I feel like it needs to be clear. Okay. There we go. That's better. So you could have that, but I mean, you don't have to have such a big uh, focal bead. In fact, let's just go back to keeping it simple and maybe pop in one of these on instead. That's better, isn't it? I mean, this is the whole point of it is to be a bit like play about with it a little bit. Have a little play around with the colours and the designs. Um, you've got such a lovely mix here of beads. I'm going to just pop one more bead on here like so. And I will say majority of them, the odd one or two don't go on all four wires, but pretty much all of them do. I bet I found one now, haven't I? That doesn't. Yeah. Typically, there's like literally out of all of these one, I'm going to go back to this one. There we go. There, perfect. So they go all the way down. Oopsie. What's going on here? My wires are twisted a little bit. There we are. So you've got them. You've got your decoration there. You can do that. However much, whatever size you want, you can do that. You can do it all the way up to here. I'm just going to stick to the three. Anna, would you recommend 0.4 wire for ear wires? No, Anna, I wouldn't. I would recommend a 0.8 for ear wires. 0.4, if you look, way too flimsy for an ear wire. Way too flimsy. Um, okay, so my I'm using my bell making pliers. And I'm just going to come in slightly above using my thumb. Can you see how I'm kind of just bringing it towards me? Because these wires are really lovely and soft. Again, using them all as if they were one. Oh, my camera likes that crystal, doesn't it? Let's get all of that out of shot for it. It's being a bit dramatic. There we go. So all the way around. And just roll your pliers a little bit if you need to. You want a very slight gap. And then taking all four wires again as if they were one and just wrapping all the way around. See how easy that is? And that is all there is to it. Wrap. Take your pliers out and you've got a nice tidy finish. Now you can keep it simple and cut it, which is what I've done. But I feel like, you know, I'm an options girl. I told you this. You could, of course, bring them all the way down and around your beads if you wanted to and wrap it there. Um, that is another option. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to snip that wire just up here. But just don't be afraid to have a little play. Now you can see there we've got that ready to go. Taking my pliers, I'm just going to give it a quick squeeze with my pliers to make sure there is no sharp edges show you that nice and close you can see that's where I've cut my my wires nice and flush and there is your nice simple field decoration um like I said when she focuses camera thank you lots and lots and lots of potential 
with these designs. Um, you've got the whole bundle opportunity on um, on the website. You can buy these in packs of two. These are singular. You can buy the wire and you can buy, of course, the bead mix, which is fantastic. You know, have a go, have a little look. Let me know how you get on. You know, come find me on Facebook. Tag me in your makes. I'm always around as well if you've got any questions. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the demo. Um, and I hope that you're going to make some lovely designs. Uh, yeah. So for now, um, I'm going to let you crack on with the rest of your day. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I will be back in a couple of weeks with a chainmail project for you with some more hematite wheels um so yeah i will see you all soon thank you so much for your lovely comments and thank you for joining me and i will see you all very soon don't forget to check out totally beads for more tutorials i know there's another one coming up on friday so i'll see you all soon